Okay, so I'm really excited. I have been, you know, we've been talking about bringing the fun, um, bringing the fun to our team, how the cream, we're gonna force the cream to rise to the top, um, how our team deserves to be a presidential team, um, that we wanna work harder, we wanna have courage, we wanna be unified, and we wanna claim victory this year. And so <clears throat> we have a leadership group that's been meeting for probably about two months now, just kind of going over some things, um, trying out some new strategies, and everybody has been so positive about the feedback. So I decided that I wanted to take it to the team because you guys are amazing, and I know that you want to grow your business and you want to push yourselves as well, um, and I think you're fully capable. So each week on Tuesday, we are going to have a team challenge, and it's going to last for the week. So um, these team challenges, some of them will just be, you know, fun and silly. Like one week we, as a leadership group, got together and we did a rhyme. Um, we, like I made up a rap, Jamie wrote a poem, um, but we did a rhyme and we had to use the words, um, it works, debt free, rap, and fit. So that was really fun and it just kind of changed the whole like outlook of our week. Um, and then we drew pictures of what our ideal distributor would look like. So we've been doing some fun challenges and, and those pictures were really abstract and most of them were stick figures. So it was interesting um, going over those. And so today I wanted to bring to you guys a challenge that I put out to um, our leadership team. And this challenge came from Jocelyn Yates. She is an ambassador diamond with it works. Um, her and her husband are very, very young. They're in their early twenties. Um, I think she was the youngest person to like be ambassador in the whole company. I might be wrong on that, but I think, I think that's true. Anyway, she's really young and she makes a lot of money. So, um, when I watched her talk about this, I was like, okay, my team can do this. Like I can do this and my team can do this. So every Tuesday you guys are going to get a challenge. Um, and this week's challenge definitely is going to push us out of our comfort zone. So it's kind of two parts. Um, the first part has to do with blitzing. Um, I blitzing is not my strong suit as far as actually doing it. When I blitz, I'm good at it, but it's just getting me to actually blitz. That's the issue. And I know that that has to, um, that has to happen. It just has to, like, we can't be a presidential team and not blitz. So, um, the first part of this team challenge is to in person, like with a blitz card, blitz seven people. So between now and next Tuesday, for you to blitz seven people. That's like one person a day. If you don't go out of the house one day, then maybe you need to do two people the next day, whatever. Seven people blitz card from your hand to their hand, okay? I would really strongly encourage you not to like just stealth blitz and like leave the blitz card in different places. Um, really practice just getting the blitz card out of your hand, okay? Something I wanna point out to you, it's not a big deal if you blitz someone and then they like put your blitz card in the trash or you know something random happens. That's not what I want you to focus on. What I want you to focus on is what you are in control of, right? You are only in control of your part of getting the blitz card to the person. What they do with it is their choice. So if you successfully <laughs> transfer this blitz card to someone else's hand, I will be so proud of you. I, I'm always proud of myself when, I, when that happens. So don't be so worried about, oh, but they didn't call me back or they didn't do this, they didn't do that. We're not in control of that. We're only in control of our own actions and that's what we wanna focus on. So consider it a win. Every time that you get a Blitz card out of your hand into someone else's hand, that's something that you should celebrate, okay? So that's the first part, seven people that you are blitzing in person. Anybody have questions about that? If you have no idea what a blitz is, I have videos on my YouTube channel. If you just go to my YouTube channel, um, there's like a blitzing 101 where I talk all about blitzing. We talk about different kinds of blitzing. Um, no, not seven a day, seven over the next seven days. 
<laughs> I mean, if you want to do seven a day, I'll give you, I don't know, you'll get a prize of some sort. Um, but I definitely want us to celebrate. So when you get your blitz done for the day, go in the team page and be like, hey, you guys, I did my blitz for today and tell us how it went. If it sucked, be like, it was horrible. It was like the most um, like horrific blitz ever. Or if it was awesome, talk about that too, okay? Like we don't have to take it like that serious. Like you're not being tested. You're not being graded. You're just practicing, okay? So over the next seven days, seven blitz cards. The next part of this challenge is what's really going to push a lot of you. And I'm going to tell you what the challenge is, and then I'm going to tell you what I think you're already thinking, okay? So the challenge is sometime between today and next Tuesday, on two days of your choice, so it could be tomorrow and Friday, it could be Friday and Monday, it could be over the weekend, whatever, two days of your choice you are going to message 100 people and talk to them about, I saw Gabby go, oh my God. <laughs> You're going to message 100 people and talk to them about either being a customer or being a distributor. Now, here's what I can already tell some of you are thinking. I don't even have 100 friends or <laughs> like, I don't even message 10 people a day. How am I going to do 100? Or, yeah, but I don't really like to spam people, okay? All those thoughts are going through your head. Or maybe you're like, oh, I'm too busy for that. I'm just going to stop listening now. I'm going to get off the Zoom because I can't do that. You're already thinking defeating thoughts. I want you to stop right now because I'm going to give you a couple different ideas and a couple different ways that we're going to accomplish this as a team. You're not doing it by yourself. We're all going to be trying it, okay? We're all going to be doing it, okay? So from Jocelyn Yates... The reason this came about is because she was on a top enroller Zoom for enrolling, uh, you know, out of the whole company, the top amount of customers and distributors. So she said what she does is she messages 100 people every day. Now, I, I asked, you know, so how many customers did you sign? She signed a little over 30 customers last month. <clears throat> to me, that said a couple things. For those of us who are messaging 10 people a day and wondering why we only get two or three customers in a month, that's why. There's a ratio here. It's all a formula. It's, it's kind of like math, okay? She has to message 100 people a day to get 30 customers a month. So it's not that you suck at messaging. It's just you're not messaging enough, right? So if you're messaging five people a day and you're only signing two or three customers a month, just up your ratio. Okay, it's not that you're doing something wrong. Maybe you're just not messaging enough people, right? And that's such an easy fix. It's not like you don't know what to say. You probably say all the right things and, and they're just not enough people that you're talking to. So that's how this came about. Um, and she uses Instagram and Facebook. Not 100 on each, just 100 between the two. So how she breaks it up is every hour on the hour, she has an alarm on her phone. So one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, her alarm goes off and she sends out 10 messages. Now she sends out, um, lots of voice messages and then some messages that are typed out. These are people that she might be following up with. And then a lot of them are new people. Cause obviously if you're going to be messaging a hundred people a day, that's 200 people for our challenge. You're probably going to be reaching out to people you've never talked to before about the business or about the product. So what do we say? How do we make sure that we're not coming across salesy or not thoughtful? Because that's important, right? We don't want to spam people. We don't want to be salespeople. So what you're going to need to do is look through that person's Facebook page for just a moment. Notice, like, did they just get their hair cut? Do they have a dog? Do they have kids? Do they wear makeup and it looks nice? Find something that you can genuinely compliment them on. And then you're going to say something so simple. So this is what I like to say when I'm messaging someone who I haven't talked to about the business or the products yet. So I'm going to talk about the business. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to turn on my voice messaging. I'm going to say, 
um, you know, hey, Jamie, my name's Erica. I know I haven't ever talked to you on Facebook before, so this might sound a little stalkerish, but I've been watching your page for like the last week, and your dog is so cute. Um, you know, and then you'll just kind of take it from there. I wanted to reach out because it's new year. So many people have fitness goals and I know that we haven't really spoken, but we are friends on Facebook. So that makes it official. And I wanted to see if you had any, um, you know, goals that you're trying to reach or if you've ever, ever considered, um, making an extra income from home. Either way, let me know. I hope you're doing good. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll definitely keep in touch. Something super quick, super simple, um, not pushy. And if, if they don't answer, fine. If they do answer, awesome. Okay, so 100 of those type of messages. 10 every hour on the hour is how she breaks it up. You can break it up however you want to, but I will caution you. If you copy and paste the same message to all 100 people, you will go to Facebook jail for a long time. Okay, that's a real thing. Like you will not be able to use your Facebook. So please don't do that. It's not thoughtful and it's not going to be like any help to your business whatsoever. Um, make sure that you're making these messages individualized. Actually go to their page and look over it for just a second. Okay. So it might take you about 15 minutes every hour. Um, <clears throat> now she said that the key here is writing down everyone's name who responds to you. So you're sending out so many messages, you know, you might not write down everybody's name who you message, but if someone responds to you, write their name down and that's going to grow your hundreds list. Okay. If they respond to you at all, write down their name. That's how you're going to follow up with people. That's how you're going to have your new contacts. That's how you're going to know who to interact with on your social media, right? Because these people, they responded back to you. Start talking to them, start commenting on their photos, start liking their posts, interact, be a real human being behind that message, okay? I want to read you something from a GoPro book. If you've never read this book before, it is gold for your business. It is short, this is how short it is. It is very practical. You can start applying the things right away. So one of the chapters of this book, talks about prospecting and how to invite your prospects to understand your product or understand your opportunity. And Eric Worre, he, he points out something very, um, very true about this business. So he says the number one rule is that you must emotionally detach yourself from the outcome. Because right now when we're talking about Sending out a hundred messages, you, your first initial thought is probably, yeah, but what if they don't answer me? Or yeah, but what if they don't want to? Or yeah, but what if, but what if they, and you're thinking about how you personally are going to feel. You want to detach yourself from the outcome and focus on the action. Okay. So this is extremely important. Remember our initial goal is education and understanding. It's not about getting a new customer or signing a new distributor. You have to disconnect your emotions from the outcome and focus on education and understanding. So when we are connecting with them, our main goal is not to just sign them up right away, right? Over the course of the month, we want them to sign up, but what do we want to do? We want to educate them. Let them know what we've got. Let them know why it's good. Let them know why they want it, right? So when we do that, we're not becoming salespeople. We're becoming like life coaches kind of. So um, again, you want to focus on education and understanding. We want them to know what it is and we want them to know why it's good. Okay. Um, it sounds easy, but it's difficult to do. All of us come into this business with the hope of recruiting awesome people. I would say that's true. <laughs> like I still hope that five years in. Um, it's hard to disconnect from those expectations, but you need to remember we're not hunters, right? We're not sharks. We're not going after people. Okay. Our job is to educate people and to help them understand what we have to offer. We cannot do that if we are not talking to them, <laughs> right? If we're not blitzing, if we're not 
speaking to them via social media or in person, how can we educate them on what we have? How can they understand what we have? <clears throat> Think of yourself as a consultant offering a suggestion on how people can live a better life. If you focus only on getting a new customer and a new distributor, you will constantly be disappointed and you will find your prospects running away from you. That's true, right? When we only focus on the outcome, how do we feel about the action that we've taken? We almost don't even pay attention to the fact that we're rock stars and we're awesome and we're brave and we're all these things taking this massive action that so many people are afraid to take. We lose focus on that and we're like, yeah, but they didn't sign up. Yeah, who cares? You're practicing your, your art form. You're practicing inviting your customers. You know, people go to school for years, minimum four years, to get a bachelor's degree and go into a minimum wage paying job. Like they have to start from the bottom. We are in, a, in an industry, this network marketing industry is a place where you can earn while you learn. And I'm not talking about earning, you know, $7 an hour. I'm talking about six figures your first year while you're learning what the heck you're doing. That is the type of potential that we have our hands on. And I know that that's true because that happened to me. I came into this business 2013, never, ever, ever been successful with network marketing before. I decided I was just going to go for it. I used the products and I shared them. My goal was to educate, share what I've got, and make sure people understood why they needed it. I did that via social media and in person every chance I got. My first year with this business, uh, we were making six figures. Then I got comfortable <laughs> and then I started going into management mode and um, I realized that that's, that's just not what, what we can do. I can't sit around and money's going to fall on my lap, right? I have to be not only educating my customers, but I want to be educating my team. Everything that I learned, I want to be sharing it with you. What I did to get to where I want to be. Um, and then it's up to you to decide if you want to do that or not. And that's okay. Not everybody wants to make six figures from home. I mean, I don't know why you would not want that, but some people don't want that. And that's okay. This can be a stepping stone for you into a bigger dream or a bigger goal. Um, but the bottom line is going to take work. It's going to take consistency. It's going to take courage, which we talked about. We have to have courage. And we have to emotionally detach ourselves from whatever the outcome is from these messages that we're sending out. Okay. Um, he says, if you focus on education and understanding, you will have fun and your prospects will enjoy their experience. So sometimes, um, let's say that I've messaged someone and, and I know that they saw my message, right? Because it shows me that they've seen it and they haven't answered me. Sometimes I'll send like a funny meme of like a skeleton and I'll be like, oh, this is me just waiting on you to respond to my message. Like, hope you're having a good day. Like, you know, something silly. They find that funny. At that point, it's like, okay, they're removing the wall and they'll be like, oh my gosh, like that's hilarious or, you know, whatever. Some, I have never, ever, ever in the four and a half years that I've been doing this had someone message me and say, do not message me again. Never, not once. And it's because I'm thoughtful with my messages. It's because I have a sense of humor with my messages. I'm not just like a robot being like, um, I noticed that you didn't message me back. I was just concerned, blah, blah, like, no, whatever. Just be a real human being, okay? Um, send out your messages, have fun with it, try different messages. You can even tell someone like, okay, I'm legit scared right now, but I'm gonna message you this anyway because like I just, and then say whatever. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to, you know, I don't know, like people just wanna see you be, be yourself. Um, and if they don't want it, then they don't want it. But if they do want it, like what if you message 100 people and 20 people respond to you and they wanna be a customer or a distributor? Like, wouldn't it be worth it at that point? I mean, I, I think yes. So my goal, <laughs> the most, 
customers I ever signed in a month was 26 and that was two years ago. My goal is to sign up more than that. So 27 customers. The most distributors I ever signed up in a month, I think was 12. And that was also a couple years ago. So I know what I'm capable of when I'm reaching out to people. When I'm not reaching out to people, I also know what that feels like. <laughs> and it doesn't feel anywhere as good, okay? So what I want you guys to focus on while you're sending out these messages is having fun. I want you to focus on the fact that you should celebrate your action. And I want you to not worry about the outcome. Because as you guys practice, the outcomes will change and they will become more favorable for you. Out of your 100 people, maybe nobody signed up. Think about what you're going to do then. Think about how you're going to move forward. Don't let not moving forward be an option for you, right? <clears throat> After you message your 100 people, if not one single person responds to you, then that's, that's a, a red light for us. And we can say, okay, so here's the positive thing. You're not afraid to reach out. Now let's take a look at what you're saying. Maybe we can tweak something. Maybe, you know, maybe it's an easy fix. And then we can take care of it and move forward. Or if after, you know, 15 people, no one's responding to you, you can be like, hey, Erica, or hey, Jamie, or hey, whoever, this is what I'm saying. Like, how do you think it sounds? And we might be able to tweak things here and there. We can all learn from each other because I can promise you that we would each send out a different style message because we're different people. So just focus on the fact that you should be proud that you're taking action and don't worry about the outcome. Have fun with it. And every time we get a response, no matter what they say, we should celebrate that. Okay? Everybody understand? Make sense to everybody? I'm not going to make you tell me right now if you're in or not. Um, but I would love if you, you know, but sometime before you go to bed, if you would just go to my Facebook page and be like, you know, I'm in, hashtag 100. And then that way I'll know like, okay, I want to keep in touch with her. Let's make sure that we're supporting each other. Let's check on how our messages are going. I don't want to waste time, my time or your time. If you're not going to, if you're not going to do it, obviously I'll still check in with you guys because you're a part of my team, but I don't want to be like, how's your hundred messages going? And then you're like, uh, yeah, I'm not doing them. <laughs> That's weird. So just let me know if you're going to be in or not. Um, and everybody who's on the zoom tonight, I will be entering you guys into a raffle for two keto coffees and a full size supplement of your choice. So before you get off, I'm going to write your names down. This is also something we're going to start doing because I want to reward you guys for taking time and investing in your business. Um, not everybody chooses to do that, right? And we want the cream to rise to the top. And when you show up, you go up. So um, I appreciate you guys showing up. So I'm just going to write down your names, Gabby, Cami, Jamie, Shaniqua, Rochelle, um, I thought about you like right away whenever she said this, because I feel like you have the perfect, um, Ashley. Okay. I got you, Ashley. <laughs> um, I think you have like the perfect opportunity to start fresh. If your message can be like, you know, I'm about to have this baby. I'm going to rock and roll with my business. I'm starting a new team for the new year. Like no one's going to say no to that. <laughs> um, all right, Ashley. Um, Rochelle. Perfect. So tomorrow, before I go to bed, I'll do this drawing live on the team page. So I want to recognize you guys. Um, does anybody have questions or is there something, is there a negative thought in your head that you're like, okay, this is what I'm thinking, like, help me switch it around or like, this is what I'm afraid of. Can we talk about it? Now would be the time to do that. So that way you guys can make your decision and we can move forward and like kick butt over the next week 
and choose our two days. It might help if you guys print out your friends list from Facebook. Um, if you don't know how to do that, I can um, show you. It's pretty easy. Does everybody know how to do that? Okay, Gabby, yes. Jamie, yes. Okay, so. I'm sorry, I'm reading your um, messages. Okay, in Ashley, you're right. It's kind of uncomfortable to send cold messages because we've heard that term so many times. And the way that you're gonna warm that message up is by adding in your genuine compliment. So <clears throat> um, don't worry so much about if they sign up right away. Let them know that you thought about them. Let them know that, you know, ask them if they would ever consider partnering with you or invite them to go check out your page. Hey, I know we've never talked before about this, but I've been Facebook stalking you and I think your dog is so cute and blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm starting a team for the new year and I wanted to invite you to just check out my page, see if it's something that you think you'd like to do. Have you ever considered making some money part-time? Some a message that's not like, I don't know. Do you guys know what I mean? Like a message that's not like hardcore sales, <laughs> like not car salesman like, but more like you're inviting them to take a look at something. And it is going to be a challenge. And I want you guys to know that it's not just going to be challenging for you. It's going to be challenging for me too. Because time management is something that I struggle with. So um, you guys are, please, please also keep me accountable and be like, hey, what two days did you choose this week? Or like, hey, have you done a day yet? I need that too. <laughs> um, just because, you know, I'm the one hosting the Zoom doesn't mean that I don't need accountability. I for sure need it. Um, and think about how many friends do you have on your Facebook. If it's more than 200 friends, then you'll be able to message everybody. Well, you'll be able to message your 200 people. Um, and it's probably going to feel uncomfortable until like message number 20. And then you'll be like, I got this. <laughs> um, if you guys want to get together and send out messages like all together, we can be like, you know, on a Zoom, whatever. I'm, I want to support you guys and I want this to be fun because I know that it is like, ugh, like a little bit weird feeling. But I want us to have fun doing it because even if you get all no's, we need to get comfortable stepping way outside of our comfort zone because success sometimes isn't that comfortable. And, and we have to learn to be okay with that. Um, I'm reading, I'm reading. Rochelle, it's been a long time since you've messaged someone. If you guys, do you guys know that when you're recording your voice messages, if you don't like what you said, before you lift your thumb up, just slide your thumb up and it'll delete the message, okay? Or if you're like, hey, I think I wanna send out this type of message, send it to one of us first and be like, how do you think it sounds? Or, you know, we can practice, that's okay. Um, same here, I'm gonna be sending out mostly voice messages unless it's on Instagram, I probably will send out a, a typed message. Uh, Cami, in order to fix that, if you, if you want, send a message to yourself and then you can forward that message, even a voice message. So if I'm going to message myself, but I'm talking to someone else, like if I'm messaging myself, but I'm like, hey, Cami, blah, 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 I send it. Then when I look at that voice message, I can play it. And there's a little arrow pointing up. I can click on that arrow and I can forward that voice message to whoever I want to. So if I don't like it, I won't forward it to them. Okay. If I do like it, I'll forward it. And they don't know. It doesn't say like forwarded voice message. It just sends the message to them. Um, and yes, I agree. Sometimes um, it is relaxing to the person on the receiving end if you don't sound perfect. So if you stumble over your words or whatever, that's okay. 
those were all really great um, things to talk through. Let me write down what I said you guys would win <laughs> so I don't forget. So two coffee and a full size supplement. Are you on the stairs, babe? You can come down if you want. Oh. Um, does anybody else have a question or a concern or anything else that you want to talk through? Okay. Um, so I'm going to post this recording and whoever chooses to watch it, awesome. Uh, hopefully they'll reach out and let us know if they've decided to do it or not. So we know, <laughs> um, but thank you guys for being on. Um, thank you for investing in your business, for being willing to step outside of your comfort zone. And even, although most of you have said yes, even if you decide that you're not going to do this challenge, um, but let's say you're like, I'm not doing 100, but I'm going to do 40. That's, you know, that's still a step in the right direction, right? So be proud of the action that you take over the next seven days. Reach out. Let us encourage you. You can reach out and say, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. I sent the worst voice message ever today. Like, it doesn't matter. There's so many people in the world if one person is like, don't ever message me again, then you got like a million other people to choose from. Okay. So blitzing seven people in person blitzing. That sounds so easy right now. <laughs> and then sending out a hundred messages a day on two days of your choice over the next seven days. Okay. Love you guys. <laughs> you guys are going to do awesome. I know if you decide to go in that you'll go all in and I hope you have a good night. Um, if you need any help or any encouragement whatsoever, please reach out, please, please, please reach out and let's celebrate every action that we take on the team page. Brag on yourself. Um, we want to see that and we need to set that example for the rest of the people who are watching. So you guys have a great night. Thank you. And, um, good luck on, on your decisions. Just me uh, send me a message or, or go to my Facebook page and say, like, I'm in and use the hashtag 100 and, and we'll, we'll get going. All right. You guys have a good night.